Good. Fire! Oh, fire! Oh my goodness! What's the procedure? What do we do, people? Did you know that only humans have learned to control and make fire among all millions of species? We've been using fire to stay warm, cook some delicious food, defend ourselves, our families and our social group from danger, shape things, start engines, and of course, annoy some friends. Fires had a very important social and behavioral effect on us, because our ancestors cooperated to make and control fire, which makes them live even closer. Remember, in camping movies, characters always get together around the campfire. They tell each other stories all night. Actually, the primary importance of fire in human evolution has more than just making us closer. It helped us cook food which allowed us to digest the food easier. High heat break up the large molecules in food into smaller nutrients, and it also kills pathogens. So, thanks to cooking, we eat healthier nutrients and our body saves energy and time to digest the food. Every calorie you take is important if you are trying to survive in the wildlife. And this whole cooking process increased our ability to survive thanks to fire. Charles Darwin, father of evolutionary biology, claims fire is the greatest discovery made by humanity, except only language. But did you know that fire has only been used by humans for the last 7000 years? Even though we've been around way much longer than 7000 years. How come something so important has only been used for such a small period of time? I mean, isn't it so easy to make fire? What took humans so long to discover it and how were their lives before they used fire? Those are pretty good questions. So let's start with answering this question. What makes a fire a fire? There are three main components needed for a fire. First, there must be a fuel to burn. A fuel can be a piece of wood for instance. Second, a certain level of oxygen must be available. And third, there must be a heat or ignition source that allows the fire to begin. It's called the fire triangle. Air on earth contains about 21% oxygen and most fires require at least 16% oxygen content to burn. Oxygen supports the chemical processes that occur during a fire. When fuel burns, it reacts with oxygen from the surrounding air, releasing heat and generating combustion products like gases, smoke, embers. This process is known as oxidation. This is why we cover fire with a blanket. It's to cut off the oxygen, and that's what makes it unique to Earth. You can't make fire on any other planet in our solar system. So, fire basically is a simple chemical reaction. But you know, there was a time when the earth didn't burn because there was not enough oxygen level to start a fire until roughly 500 million years ago. The oldest fire recorded on earth has been identified around 420 million years ago. The first hominid interaction with fire perhaps as early as 1.5 million years ago in Africa. If you ask if the first interaction was 1.5 million years ago, why do you say that the fire is discovered only 7000 years ago? Keep watching because we will get there. So, what's meant by discovering fire has three main factors, which are 1. Ability to start the fire 2. Have a particular purpose to use fire and 3. The ability to control the fire the main sources of ignition back in the early ages were mostly falling rocks, volcanic discharges, extraterrestrial impacts and of course lightning strikes. To start a fire you'll have to wait for a lightning strike or a comet to hit the earth which usually causes huge fires that are not mostly controllable by humans. Let's assume for a second they could control the lightning fire. What was a primitive hominin going to do with that? So, it took naturally a lot of time for humans to have such ability to start and control the fire with a purpose. Let's take a deeper look at the timeline of fire in human lives. It's not clearly known that when hominins started using fire in their lives and we are not entirely sure about which one of our ancestors was the first to master the skill of using fire, but it wasn't us homo sapiens. Two million years ago, early Homo erectus and archaic human primate, the oldest known early humans, appeared. 1.8 million years ago, the Homo erectus brain doubled in size. And around those times, we see evidence in the archaeological record of the first major innovation in stone tool technology. 
it consisted of the creation of large cutting tools like hand axes and cleavers. They were using those tools for hunting. The earliest evidence of hurls occurred during the time range of Homo erectus. There are claims for such evidence from sites in southern Africa that are over a million years old. They were not starting fires, they were taking advantage of lightning strikes. It's highly hard to find evidence of fire in the archaeological records because it leaves only ashes behind which are blown away by the wind or washed away by water. 400,000 years ago, clear evidence of habitual use of fire comes from caves in Israel and includes the repeated use of a single hearth in Chasm Cave and indications of roasting meat. While we have evidence that hearths were used for cooking and probably sharing food, they are likely to have been placed for social interaction and also used for warmth and to keep away large predators. Obviously, the fire was discovered again and again even before Homo sapiens in different locations by different hominins. But the recipe for making and controlling fire couldn't be passed to the next generation several times. So, the knowledge kept disappearing, and starting a fire remained a skill couldn't be mastered throughout generations. And finally, 200,000 years ago, early Homo sapiens have come to the scene. But still, humans began to use and control fire on a regular and widespread basis, which may have started only 7,000 years ago. This may have included the use of fire for land clearance and for agriculture and even for warfare. Touch the handle! If it's hot, there could be a fire in the hallway! What does warm mean? Oh my gosh, try to get the door. Not a viable option.